Hi, my name is Gabby, also known as Mrs Pigeon. Happy Thursday! <laughs> it's hashtag throwback Thursday, so I'm doing some more throwback gaming. I haven't completely forgotten about it. Today is a proper blast in the past for me. Granny's Garden. The one with the scary witch. I talked about in my uh, Childhood Fears video, I think it was like number two, how the witch just traumatised me. I'm actually shaking, but that's because I'm hungry. I don't even know if this works, to be fair. That was amazing. I remember this guy, proper legend. Oh, I remember the creaking. Are you ready to start? Yes. I broke the game. <laughs> ah, welcome to the Kingdom of Mountains. Do you have a password? I remember all the passwords. They were dewdrops, icicle, and rainbow. But we're going to play it from the beginning, so I'm going to say no. Do you see a cave? No. Yes, you can. It's a black hole in the middle of the picture. Why'd you ask that? I used to love trolling this when I was a kid. Yes. You are inside the secret cave. The king and queen of the mountains have been locked in here by a wicked witch. Their six children have been taken away and hidden by the witch. Would you like to help the king and queen? No. Oops. Boo. That's not very nice. <laughs> I remember it saying that, actually. You must try to find the missing children. The first one to look for is a girl called Esther. King or Esther. The king and queen's pet raven will help you. The raven is coming. Magic powers. This guy! He made me jump, but it was worth it. I am the king and queen's raven. No, I won't do that. I'm the king and queen's raven. I have magic powers. Would you like me to help you? Oh, don't you bump me. I'm sorry, but the king and queen say that I must help you. We must go to the woodcutter's house. The witch has made the woodcutter leave his home. Now it is a prison for Esther. Are you ready to come with me? <laughs> Don't be silly! You are ready. Then why ask? This is the woodcutter's house. Would you like to go in? Come on, you will have to be brave. I'm not. Before you go in, you must solve a little puzzle. What is the secret word on the house? Earth. Fig. But I'm going to put dog. No, the word is on the wall. Fog. The word is in brown letters. Dog. No, the word is fig. Dog. <laughs> no, okay, I'll keep this going. Oh, I, ass I absolutely broke dig that time. Now we can go inside, but we must be very careful. The witch has set some traps for you. I know some of these traps, but I can't remember all of them. Would you like to take an apple from the tree? No. I think the apple was poisonous, so we're not to keep it on us. I'm going to take the stick. Yes. I think the stick was magical. Sorry about that. I just had to go and have the dinner. Um... So I'm going to go into the cupboard and I'm going to show you the jump scare that scared the hell out of me. So basically, you're not supposed to take the broom. Okay, you'll see why. But I'm going to say yes, because that's the mistake I made. And... I am not! <laughs> What's with the pupils going big? That seriously scared the hell out of me when I was younger. When I say younger, I mean like 10? 9? Ah, now I've got you! I will explore your little plan! <laughs> I'm very sorry, but the witch has sent us outside. You will have to try again. What a savage. So I can do... So, let's go in the kitchen first because it's the first one. Are you going to look in the pot? Na ta la a ta la no no no. If you look in the pot, she's like, Aah! the back room. Yes. Perhaps you need a broom. It's not in here that you will find the witch's broom. See, so they th you go in a cupboard and you're like, mm. they even put cupboard next, so you're going to the cupboard next. Upstairs. That's a snake. What can you throw at the snake? The stick. I thought it was a good magic wand! I am not! <laughs> time to time travel. There we go. I'm going to say no. Because it's obviously the apple that's good. For some reason I thought the apple was poisonous. Let's just go straight upstairs. I'll show you what happens because it's pretty funny. 
Yes. What a good shot you are. <laughs> See, it turns into sausages. I told people that you throw an apple at a snake and it turns into sausages and rolls away and no one believed me. There we go. There is a note on the wall. Please read it. No. Esther is in the house hidden well from you. Look again and you may find that one room is now two. So, don't want the bloody stick. Right, cupboard. No. I don't, I don't want cardboard again. <laughs> Red, green. Oh yeah, I used to think that was weird as well. She's just going. Well done, you have found Esther. Your password is icicle. Icicle. Oh. Icicle. Icicle. You have found Esther. Now you have to find Tom. I will help you find Tom. He has been hidden in the giant's garden. I will take you to see the friend of Toadstool. <laughs> the Toadstool. Oh my god. He's brilliant. You're not ready. Hello, hello, hello. I'm the talking Toadstool. Oh, I used to love this guy. Tom is hidden on the other side of the giant's garden. You'll need some help to cross the garden. These creatures will help you. I like how the bee is drawn really child friendly, but the butterfly and the spider are like kind of realistic. <laughs> you're on the edge of the, a wide pond. You'll need help across the pond. Which one do you call? Who are you gonna call? I'm gonna call Butterfly. I will try to carry you over the pond. Hold on tight. We've done it! <laughs> you are now across the pond. Ooh. Best friend. You set off through the woods. A shower of nuts has fallen on you. The nut hurts your head. <laughs> you need help. The snail? Because of a shell? I will be able to help you. Come inside my shell with me. Interesting soundtrack. We are now safe from the falling nuts. Hello, hello, hello. Lovely flowers here, and one or two weeds. Look out, an army of ants is coming. You need help. Worm? Ah, oh, oh, I will dig a t long tunnel underground. I hope you're not too dirty. You must follow a twisty path. Oh, God, let me jump. Oh, yeah, dog was pretty frightening. Pretty weird. The dog has big yellow teeth. You need help. Sting it like with a bee? And buzz off after the dog. Yeah, buzz off, mate. Yeah, black dog. Looked grey though, didn't he? Now you're safe. I stole the dog's bottom. You can see a tree. There is something at the top of it. Wow. <laughs> I think you should climb the tree. I think you should mind your own business. Oh, what nice fella. I will climb up and drop a thread. You can climb the thread. No offence, but Tom looks like a knob. Just saying. Password is Sky. They changed the password. Sky. <laughs> now you have to find An Claire and Anna. They have been hidden in the City of Dragons. Are you brave enough to look for them? No. I'm sure you are, really. Ah, it's nice and encouraging. Welcome to the City of Dragons. Don't worry, it's not an earthquake. It's just someone sneezing. Oh yeah, this is so weird. My name is Achu. I am the keeper of the gates. Have you ever sneezed so hard that your ponytail goes from low to high? Before we enter the city, you must answer my question. What's your favourite food? Ah. Oh. There is a little girl here who seems lost. She says her name is Anna. You can take her with you to meet the dragons. Some of the big dragons are out hunting for their dinner. This one has other ideas. That one looks like fun. This one is more sensible than hunting. These four baby dragons have been left behind to guard Claire. You will have to tame them. Luckily I have four magic collars that will make the dragons tame. You can only catch one dragon at a time. You can make the dragons come out by throwing their favourite food. Each dragon has a different favourite. You have three bags of chips, three oranges, three lollies, and three buns. If you run out of something, the witch will come. Remember, you must try and make each dragon come out on its own. 
You have this food for the dragons. Which food do you want to throw to the dragons? Buns, chips, lollies or oranges? The red dragon loves buns. The yellow dragon hates them. The other sometimes eats so others sometimes eat them. You put a magic collar on the red dragon. Chip. I actually don't understand this one. I never used to understand it, so I don't actually know what I'm doing. I'm just guessing. The yellow dragon loves chips. The blue dragon hates them. The others sometimes eat them. Oh, lolly. The green dragon loves lollies. The red dragon hates them. The others sometimes eat them. So I need to use buns again. And then chips again. And then oranges? <gasps> okay. So green dragon hates them. And then chips? Rolled by the game lagging. Got you. I love being horrible to people. I d uh, lollies. What the hell? Getting sick of this level. One hour later. Bonds. Lollies. Oranges. Why does it keep breaking? One more time. It keeps quitting. I'm just gonna skip to the to the last level, which is called Rainbow. Two more children to find. This. Now I remember this was really difficult. Some paths are dangerous. So I think you can go to the cottage. Right outside the cottage, there's a huge key on the ground. Key. Cottage. Um, what's the other one? Lake? Oops, lake? Ah! What? <laughs> Can I go to the forest? Oops, god damn it. Forest. Welcome to the creepy forest. The trees are called pom pom trees. Please take your litter home with you. There's a fire burning here. You can put out the fire if you fetch some water from the lake. So now I think I can go back to cottage. I like her nails. The witch is inside the cottage. She has a cake in her hand. Do you want to take the cake? Yes. I don't know how you manage that. Works. Now let's try going to the lake. Why does no one want me to go to the lake? <laughs> Perhaps this will be the last time we're sent back to the beginning. <laughs> now a castle. Cannot go straight there. So where is the cottage? Oh, the cottage is... Okay, so the cottage is there. We can't go to the lake because... Ugh, we can go back, back to the forest. Welcome to the creepy forest. Now I can go from the forest to the hill. Okay, go to the castle. Lake. Whoa! If you wish to use this path, you must bring me a stone from the hill. Hill. Cannot go straight there. Cottage. Key. Hill. You're on a high hill. There is a lake nearby and you can see a castle on the cottage. In the distance there is a forest. It's very smoky by the forest. There must be a fire burning there. A giant voice says... I am a hungry giant. Shall I eat you? No. You better run quickly then. Hmm. Lake. Whoa! If you want to use my rose, you will have to tell me what sort of trees grow in the forest. Pom poms. Thank you, you may pass by. Have you come for water? Yes. I want a key to eat first. Yes. You may take some water from my name. No. Do I have water now? Forest. You wish to pass. Maybe I have to say yes. Don't be silly, I don't really eat people. Well, not many. Yes, I would like a stone. Forest? Okay, lake. 
Do you want? Oh, do you want to know mine? Yes. Redhorn. Okay. Forest. I thought I said, do you know my name before? Oh. I, I pressed too many times. The fire is now out. You see a tall tower. Door is wide open. Yes. Go to the tower and... Wow, Jessica! Now you must find Daniel. Carson? Are you joking? <laughs> okay. Go back to the lake. Don't know, sorry, it's a lovely day. Hope you liked my water. Hell. You may pass by. Ah! Castle? Ah, you cannot pass on the chance of my question. My brother lives red horn. You may pass. I'm watching you! I'm hungry. To enter the castle, you must give me a cake. You need a key to open the castle door. I am no hungry! <laughs> my key! Yes. Oh. Whoa! Yes? You found Daniel! Oh my god! Um, Lake. Yes. 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 That's the end of the adventure. I hope you enjoyed it. And Granny says it's time for tea. Goodbye. So I guess that's it for my gameplay of Granny's Garden. Stop licking your face. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you could give the video a like. If you'd like to share it to your buddies, then go ahead. And if you'd like to see the rest, you can subscribe to The Pigeon's Nest. Bye!